Hello friends. Today I'll be using Keybase to set up static site and Jamstack hosting all for free. I'll first set up a website off of their free subdomain offering, and then I'll set up another website using a custom domain name. The processes for a subdomain and a custom domain are a little bit different, so I thought it was worth covering both. And I'll have any links that you may need down below in the description, as well as a link to an article that I'll keep updated if any information changes. The first thing you'll need to do is head over to keybase.io. This is where you're going to want to install their client software. This is what we use to publish the site. Once you've downloaded Keybase, go ahead and click on files on the left side and you may be presented with a screen that looks like this. You're going to want to check this box as well as click yes enable. This is going to integrate the client with your file system and make copying files a whole lot easier. So this is what it should look like after you have the file system integration. The files for our site, we're gonna place inside of public in your username directory. My username is joelnet, so that's where I'm gonna place them. You do have the option of uploading files directly through the client, but I'd recommend doing it through the operating system integration. And this is what it's gonna look like. On my Windows PC, it creates a K drive. On Mac and Linux, it's at forward slash keybase. But you just have to open this drive and you can see the same directories reflected that were in the client. So I'd navigate to public and joelnet and this is where I'm going to place my files. So I have a bunch of files here that were output from a Gatsby build. And all I have to do to copy these into my Keybase account is to just highlight them and drag them over here. And I copied them into k public joelnet. Of course you're going to want to use your own username instead of joelnet. And now that the files have been published, I can check that by entering in my username, which is joelnet.keybase.pub. And this is the site I just deployed. But I do have my own domain name, so I prefer using a custom domain name instead of this subdomain option. So now I'm gonna walk through a similar setup, but doing it with a custom domain name. And the difference with the custom domain name is you put everything into the private folder. So Inside of private, you're going to want to create a folder with your username, comma, KBP bot. And what that means is that you're going to be sharing this folder with yourself as well as the KPB bot user, which is the Keybase bot. So the nice thing about this approach is your files are now private as opposed to public like they were in the previous approach. So now I'm going to open up this folder and create a new directory here. I'm just going to call it my site um, just because this is... Uh, just a demo for the video. And the nice thing about this is because you can have multiple sites hosted here, you can create a directory for each of your websites. And now that I have my site, I'm just going to go ahead and drag in an index.html that just says hello world so I know when it's published. So the last thing I have to do is set up my DNS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new CNAME record and I'm going to create the CNAME of Keybase. So this is going to activate when I go to keybase.joel.net. And you want to place the target as kbp.keybaseapi.com. And I think you have to do DNS only for this. After that, you need to add another record, a text record. This is going to tell Keybase where to look for your files. Because I was using the CNAME Keybase, I have to prefix that with underscore Keybase underscore pages. And what I'm going to do is in that in the content for the text record, I'm going to put the full path of where to look for Keybase. On my computer, because I'm on Windows, uh, it's a it's a K drive, but you would use forward slash here because that's where it would work in the Keybase file system. So you're going to use forward slash Keybase private. Uh, the folder you created, which mine happens to be joelnet, comma, kbp bot, and then slash and the name of the directory that you created. So if you wanted to use this technique to publish multiple websites, you would just have to change the content of your text record to point to the different directory. So now let's make sure that the DNS is set up correctly. I'm going to type in uh, keybase.joel.net and I'm going to hit enter. And here's my hello world. That noise is the dumpling. She's pretty loud. <laughs> so what did we learn? We were quickly able to deploy our website to our free subdomain. And without too much more work, we can set up multiple websites with custom domain names. So I'd like to thank you for taking your time to watch this video. I really do appreciate it. 
And just a reminder, when you subscribe, you've got to click the bell icon also if you want to receive notifications when new videos come out. And thanks again, and of course, I will see you in the next video.